Hello. Today we'll talk about quadratic equation. Again, but we'll talk about quadratic equation in part two. And here we'll be solving by completing the square. How do you complete the square? The first question. Here we go. You have the same questions and you have to solve them by completing the square. Now let me quickly take you through the process of completing the square using uh, using uh, generating the general formula method by doing that so let's go oh i think i need to move this uh, sorry about the short in transmission so we move on so here we have this if you have the quadratic equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c right good equal to zero if you have to complete solve by computing the square what do you do basically nothing much all you have to do is consider first that's step one step one is make sure the coefficient of x square or the coefficient of the variable with degree 2 is 1 make sure the coefficient is 1 so once the coefficient is 1 you are good to go but if the coefficient is not 1 you divide through by the coefficient so that you can make the coefficient 1 here our coefficient is not 1 our coefficient is a we will divide through by a such that we are not going to be having x square plus b over a x then plus c in fact you can just take your c to the right hand side then you are going to be having is equal to minus c upon a having done this what do you do next you find the half of the coefficient of x you find the half of the coefficient of denoting this take the half of the coefficient of x then you square it take the half of the coefficient of x you square it so you have 1 upon 2 times b upon a I said you square it isn't it so if you have done that you should be having that should be equal to b square you may not have to actually expand it just square it then step three let me note that step three add to both sides to add that to both sides what do you, are you going to be having x square so you have x square plus b over ax then plus what you have done have what b square over a square do you see that or you just have b over 2a is at the right hand side you expand b over 2a all squared do you get that b equal to minus c minus c over a then what plus i said you add to both sides plus b over 2a everything all squared do you see that b over 2a everything all squared then what do you do now step four step four you factorize left hand side then you simplify what the right hand side 
factorized LHS. So what do you have there? If you factorize LHS, this is what you have. You're going to have whatever is in this bracket. Whenever you are done doing this, anytime you are working, and you add to divide through by the coefficient of x square, then you add this. Then you add to um, take the half of the coefficient of x, then square it. Whatever you have, when you bring it, when you are factorizing, pick this, this and this. Can you see this? So you have what you have x plus b over 2a everything all squared if you expand this we get everything on the left hand side try it out so this will be equal to you simplify this you have minus c over a then what do you, you can try to okay minus c over a then plus what? Simplify it. B squared. 2a squared will be 4a squared. Isn't it? Don't forget you have to simplify. So we find the LCM. The LCM will be 4a squared. A in 4a squared, that is 4a. 4a times c uh, uh, minus c, that is minus 4ac plus. 4a squared, 4a squared, that is 1, times b squared, that is b squared. So I can write this as x plus b upon 2a, everything all squared, to be equal to what? b squared minus 4ac, everything over what? 4a squared. Do you get that? Let's quickly wipe some part of this at the top so that we move on. Please keep following, keep following. This is the method. This is the same approach for solving by completing the square method. We've only used this to uh, solve the general formula of quadratic equation general yes general structure of it then you know you can use it to solve any other question that's what we call completing the square method so here what do you have now you can have your x taking the square root of both sides x plus b upon 2a can be equal to what square root don't forget whenever you take square root you have plus or minus b square minus 4ac everything you have what over 4a squared don't forget the square root is covering everything so what do you have you have x plus b upon 2a is equal to plus or minus then you have square roots you can't take the square root of this except you solve everything inside this for the denominator you can take the square root and the square root is 2a do you see that so that shows we are good to go so you have this this is plus add subtract this from this subtract b yeah you want to make x sorry the formula so you have x can be equal to minus b upon 2a then plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac everything divided by 2a isn't it and that means x can be equal to what take the LCM you have 2a you have minus b plus or minus take the square root again you have b square minus 4 ac 
What did this give you? This give you the general form, the form, the, uh, the formula for the what? Uh, general method or general formula, which some people call almighty formula of solving a quadratic equation. And that's what we have just derived by what? Completing the square method. Let me solve one example for you. Then we go and finish up with this. You have this. have this x square x square minus 3x minus 10 what do you have first x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 since we have the uh, what do you call it since we have the coefficient of our x squared there it is already okay I think yes it is already solved as in the coefficient is already one so you may not need to divide through I'm looking if I can get a question that we have um, Let's solve question three, the one that asks the coefficient not to be one. Let's deal with that one. Yes, I was looking for a question like that. So we have this instead of one. Let's go by. Let's go with three. Question three. Gen one is simple. Yeah, one, two, three. Yes. So you have this minus two x squared plus three x plus five. Equal to zero. What do you do now? Divide you by minus two. What do you have? This cancel out this. And when we have in x square, then we have minus three over two. Minus three over two x. Then you have minus 5 over 2. That can be equal to 0. 0 divided by whatever, um, any other number apart from 0 itself, it's 0. Or apart from infinity, it's still 0. So we have x squared minus 3 over 2x minus 5 over 2 equals 0. So how do we go here? Then you want to take the half of the coefficient of x. Then you square it, then add to both sides, isn't it? Are that, are those not the procedures? Good. So 1 over 2 times minus 3 over 2. That will be equal to minus 3 over 4. Then you square it. Don't forget you what? You square it. I will square it. Add it to both sides. So you're going to be having x square minus 3 upon 2 x then plus open bracket minus 3 upon 4 squared that can be equal to what? Take your minus, take this to the other side, minus 5 upon 2. Then you have um, plus, open your bracket, you have minus 3 upon 2, all squared. Factorizing your left hand side, what do you have? You are going to be having x, this is a minus here, put the minus minus 3 over 4 everything all squared 
then that should be equal to this will be minus 5 upon 2 then plus 9 upon 4 you can expand it here but you can't you can you observe that i expanded it here but i did not expand it here yes so that you can factorize it so you don't need to expand it but here you simplify so you can expand so here now the lcm will be 4 2 in 4 2 times minus 5 that is minus 10 plus 4 in 4 1 times this 9 are you seeing that so we have x minus 3 upon 4 squared to be equal to what minus 1 over 4 did you see that so let's go and wrap up that up wrapping that up here what do we have here we go take the square root of both sides then you have x minus 3 over 4 I haven't taken the square root, square root cancel out square, so we are going to be having the square root of minus 1 over 4. Do you see that? This will give you x minus 3 over 4. We give you square root of minus 1 times the square root of 1 over 4. Yes. From here, as for those that are in the secondary school you cannot you cannot be given something that you have to find the square root of a negative value yes if i knew the question uh will be this way i will have changed the signs but it's what we can solve you extract the square root of minus one because square root of minus one and square root of one over four will give you square root of minus one over four always know the square root of minus one is a complex number and it is i so you are learning that note that now we have x minus 3 over 4 can be equals to i times the square root of 1 upon 4 then what do you do here square root of 1 upon 4 is uh, i don't even need to write that again square root of 1 is 1 square root of 4 is what 1 over 2 so our answer here is 1 upon 2 i so what do we do x can now be equal to 1 over 2 i plus 3 over 4 do you get that don't forget this is supposed to be plus or minus so we have plus or minus 1 over 2 i plus 3 upon 4 so which implies that you can have plus 1 over 2 i plus 3 over 4 or so you can that's x will now be equal to 1 over 2 i plus 3 over 4 or minus 1 over 2 i plus 3 upon 4 these are possible answers or factors of x so thank you very much for joining me you can solve this on the first one yeah, much easier i'll catch you some other time bye for now